So the story goes, Lee Shelton, otherwise known as Stacker Lee, he shot Billy Lyons dead on a Christmas night, no doubt. Without going into a whole drunken history for you, because I don't actually know that much about it, there have been a whole lot of songs written about him. You got Stagger Lee, Stago Lee, Stacker Lee, you got Stacko Lee, Stacko Lee is one word, Stacko Lee is one word, I mean popular guy. The version we're gonna talk about today is the best one, and it's Mississippi John Hurt's Stack Only. It's recorded a half step out of pitch, so it's sounding out of D sharp. It's in D. We're gonna play it in D. So I've broken it down for you here, tabbed it out in full, so we can check it out exactly what he was doing in D. I'll have a link in the description of the full tab, which is available over on my Patreon, so if you wanna get at it, you can get at it there. For now, let's check this out. This is Stack Only. So a lot of Mississippi John Hurt tunes, they make use of what's called alternating basses. This tune, at least in the beginning here, starts out with a great example of doing the opposite, just staying steady on one bass note. If you look at this tab here and you take everything else away, really all you have is D as four quarter notes. The thing to check out here is all these hammer-ons. There's a lot of hammer-ons in this tune. The open E string to the second fret. It's a very D thing to do if you play a D chord. Spend some time with that. We're gonna move to the G chord next and we're gonna bring in that alternating bass. Check it out. So we went from a G chord moving to a D chord and then we are gonna to move to a long A chord. It's what I call the long A chord. It looks like this. I will admit that's kind of a stretch. Uh, it's movable. That's what's cool about it. You know, you can move that thing all over the neck. So it moves from that long A to an A7 back to D. That's the tune. You wish. Check this out. The next go around. He starts alternating his basses on that first part. Where we used to do a steady bass, he alternates it. Check it out. Here's the cool thing. Most people, when they learn alternating basses, you learn root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth. He's not doing that. So he's doing fifth, root, fifth, root. So what he's doing is A, D, A, D, A, D. This is a variation of that first part. Let's check this out. If that's a little bit out there for you, you just need to hear that root first. I, I really like this one. Actually, if you take the D and then you alternate it up to the higher A, it has a really nice kind of melodic sound. Again, this is my variation. This is something that I do. And if you wanna use it, what you gotta do, you see a little like button what you gotta do. So this has been Stacker Lee. This is a tune in D. If you want to learn some tunes in open D, you should check out this video next. And there's some things in there that may surprise you that you didn't expect about open D.